Hey guys, Pinobi here, bringing another Pokemon Narrative Wi-Fi battle. This is going to be an NU tier battle against a buddy of mine named Floppy Zombie. This is going to be with the team that we've been working with, uh, where I promised to upload every single battle. Not going to lie, this one is a little bit one-sided, but I did promise to upload every single battle. And uh, he's a pretty cool guy, so check out the link in the description. And yeah, it's going to be a pretty fun one. Also, thank you guys for all the feedback you've been leaving. Thank you for thumbs upping my videos if you do enjoy them. It really does actually help me out a lot. Helps out my channel. So yeah, if you do enjoy, feel free to give a thumbs up. If you have any fixes or things that you want to see with the team, let me know. I'm actually thinking about replacing one or two members just for the sake of variety, just so you guys get to have some input. Um, maybe taking out Whiskash or something. So yeah, he's going to lead with his Polyrath. I'm going to lead with my Nidoqueen. I'm just going to go for the Stealth Rock because I don't think he can one-hit KO me, and unless he has a speed investment, he's not going to be able to outspeed me, and he's actually going to be a special Polyrath. I was thinking he'd be physical, and since I am running a physical Nidoqueen, I thought I could take a waterfall pretty well. Unfortunately, he is special, so I'm going to go for a rest here, hoping either for the Hydro Pump miss or more uh, reasonably him either uh, doing that, going for Ice Beam, or pretty much any move in case I switch, as long as the move would be able to finish off my Nidoqueen, because that's a very popular and good tactic. Unfortunately for him, I do carry the rest, which is kind of original on a Nidoqueen, and I'm going to be able to, t to switch out to the OP News, because it uh, walls Polyrath's two main stab moves, and even though he's a physically defensive Pelipper, not specially defensive, he's going to take that Hydro Pump very well. Just going to go for the Air Slash, because it would be super effective against Polyrath, and if he knows my playing style, which he does, he might be predicting a Toxic. Uh, I think he probably was, and that's why he brought this guy in, so... Um, yeah, that's not going to work out very well for him, since my Pelipper is surprisingly going to outspeed. I don't really know much about Beautifly or what its speed stat is, but I assumed that since it's so weak to Stealth Rocks, it'd be an offensive set, not a defensive set, because you have to switch into defensive pokes a lot. So, yeah, I was surprised that he didn't outspeed. So I'm going to go to my Whiskash, because it's part ground type, thinking that when he's this far behind, he can't really afford to not go for the obvious play, which is the electric move. And I'm pretty sure he doesn't have the HP grass because I kind of know his play style because we have a lot of experience battling each other. And yeah, he's going to go for charge and then go for toxic while I go for a DD on the switch now. Because I was thinking he was going to go into something with uh, immunity to an, uh, a grounded type attack. And that's going to work out pretty well for me. And even if he didn't, it would probably work out because I don't think he could have done too much to me with that guy, and at plus one, I would uh, easily be able to take him on the following turn and out speed, probably. So all that is good for me. Take out his whatever with a waterfall. Now he's going to bring in this dude. I always forget, I, I don't remember this dude's name at fucking all. But I am just going to be able to take him out with the rock slide. Some people prefer to run the stone edge, because it does have higher base power. But, um... With Dragon Dance, you usually outspeed, and there's a the chance of flinching and the higher accuracy, so I am going with Rock Slide. You guys can let me know what you think about Rock Slide versus Stone Edge in the comments if you want. And yeah, he's going to have to bring in this Polyrath. Uh, unfortunately for him, he doesn't have something with priority to be a big check to Whiskash, so I am going to be able to get a little mini sweep there and take out a good uh, portion of his team. So it's a double down. I'm going to go into my Chew on Fire, bluffing the Scarf, although at this stage in the game it probably doesn't matter too much. Just going to go for the safe Flamethrower. No really sense in switching out. He only has two pokes left. And Flamethrower is going to do a big chunk. Um, I was a little bit surprised at just how much damage it did. Unfortunately for me, he is going to hit his Thunder and get a critical hit, which I think mattered to be able to take out my dude since uh, Magmortar does not have too shabby of special defense, or uh, base special defense. So bring in my Day and Night, knowing I'm going to outspeed, just go for the uh, stab. Choice Spec Psychic. And unfortunately for him, his last Pokemon is part Poison, so I am going to easily just be able to go for the Psychic now. Maybe if I was using something else, he'd be able to sleep powder, sub, leech seed, and take out another one of my pokes, or something like that. But anyway, GG Floppy Zombie, link in the description. Hope everyone enjoyed. If you did, feel free to leave a thumbs up. Thank you again, and have a nice day. Peace out.